Good morning. Slightly different approach this morning. It's windy again and it's raining again and mm -hmm. uh, I love winter. Anyway, this morning I'm going to start in the car on the way there because it's just less windy, it's less wet and it's a bit easier. Uh, today I've got a bit to get on with, obviously the usual feeding. Need to chuck a couple of bales of straw in with the larger cattle. And then I've got other stuff to get on with. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to include that or not because it's a little bit off topic. Uh, that's about it really, I'm going to crack on. When I get there I'll have a quick look around the fields, check the pond and get on with doing some daily chores. Today I'm probably going to do most of today using the DJI mic and the GoPro because sound quality is so much better when there's wind about and evidently there's quite a bit of wind about which yeah I, it's just not nice to listen to is it so yeah let's get to the farm And we're in our work gear, ready to get going. And it sounds like they might be anticipating me, the sun. Right. Here we are then. Usual place. If I look through the back, I can see what I'm doing. There is a field full of nothing, and then there's a field full of cattle. And look at that Hereford just breaking through the hedge there, where I still haven't fixed it. Should pull my finger out with that one. I'm pressing things though. Uh, I can't zoom in on the pond because I don't know how to, but there's a couple of bits and bobs down there. Anyway, I got stuff to do. Let's get on and do it. Hungry. And they need bedding. Probably hungry. Definitely need bedding. Up with the smaller calves. Rumour has it, they've discovered their voices. My God. What is all this about? Uh, yeah. Come on, let's get you done first. Push the boat out, give you a bit of light. Let's go. Okie dokie. Let's see what this noisy lot have got to say for themselves, apart from a lot of noise and a lot of mess. Looks easier than it is one-handedly. But there they go, straight into their cow cake. The liquor's taken a licking. The haylage I put in yesterday is okay but it'll need some more in there the straw in the middle they've eaten quite a chunk of so that's them okay no sign of barry yet barry where are you what these have got to say for themselves good morning right first things first Boof, they're in there mm. Their haylage, that has taken a smashing. So they're gonna want more. It's just started raining. <laughs> oh my luck. Their lick has taken a lick in, their bed's taken a smashing. I got work cut out this morning and I check on the uh, the top cattle, the outdoor cattle. We know they're outside, we've seen them. They, yeah, they're gonna want a bale today. So that's two bales, two bales of haylay, two bales of straw, and probably other stuff. I haven't looked yet. Not really sure how well this is going to work. GoPro stuck to the windscreen. Lift the boom out of the way, it might probably help. Okay. Wipe the windscreen with the windscreen smearer. And let's see if we can grab a bale of straw.
Does turn well. You have to have the strings on the side so you can cut them off. Otherwise, if you put them up the way it was, you can't get to them to cut them. Get this round to the uh which one should we go for first? The the bigger cattle, the bigger next door cattle, because they're a bit more angry when they get feeding. What I need to do is run in there with the cake, distract them with that, and then open the gate, fly in with this, drop it off, fly back out and tie the gate up before. <coughs> oh, excuse me before they get the wind of the idea that the gates are open and they try and make a bid for freedom. Ah, straw always makes me sneeze. Straw fever. Ah, dust. But once, once I've got this in, I can then tie the gate up and out, pop back in, cut a few strings. Uh, normally they'll go, go in for it and scratch and rub and bounce and jump about. Stuff to see. I can see they're, they're queued up at the gate. So. They're definitely going to be keen for this. Already we see a design fault. That gate doesn't open quite wide enough. But we will overcome that. Out of breath again, because I am not fit. Too bad. I was expecting a bit more drama than that, but there we are. Again, I'm not complaining. If I was to put this down on the floor, I could probably do a good sweeping up job here. Somebody parked that bloody Land Rover right in the way. Right. Get them a bucket of food, distract them, same technique. Although this one's a bit easier, because there's a big shackle on there, not string. And they're interested in that gate latch on the other one. If you could see this, there's a fat man running. Scoop a cow cake. Again, compulsive viewing. You can probably see a bale. And you can't see me charging around like an idiot. But there we are. Get out of here and shut that gate. <laughs> I don't know if you can see them all going nuts in there, but it's not just the dog charging at them that's doing it, it's that, that new bale of straw. Another one successfully put in there without stabbing any cows in the head, which is always the desired effect.
What I'll do is a bit of loose on the floor. I'll throw in with the other ones. Make up for that nasty crap we gave them yesterday. If I put this on the floor, it'll stop it crushing my Land Rover. Sniffing and heavy breathing. Must all be very desirable to listen to. Here you go, mate. You have some of that. Oh, nearly fell over. That would have been entertaining. This one I'm going to have to rub a bit off of anyway to give to the smaller calves and cows and cattle or whatever they're called. So hopefully I'll get a couple of layers fall off of it and I can chuck them over where Teddy is bouncing around looking for cows. And the little ones are still protesting loudly. Didn't cut that very well, like at all. Better. You need help. You love it. I should be eight stone soaking wet, really, but must be my love of cakes or something that's stopping that happening. And a bit of effort later, as you've seen, the outdoor cattle have outdoor cattle food. That'll keep them going. Middle and baby calves, which, oh golly, have been fed and bed. So they've got some fresh bedding, plenty of fresh haylage up in the rack and in the trough. And do you look happy about it? Are you happy, guys? You are? Good. Thank you. The little ones in here. Equally fed and bed, although they've used it as a toilet already. Thank you very much. Plenty of haylage at the back. And five gloriously happy little faces. Yeah. I know, I know. I said I was using the GoPro and the mic. I haven't got it to hand, but I have just come over by the ponds. What have we here? As much as I can zoom with my phone 14. It's not a duck. It's not a moorhen. It's not a pigeon. Hmm. And a fresh bale. And they love it. I know. Look, we're in there wrecking it already. You're trying to lick me. You're just trying to come around and be a pain in the backside. But yeah, simple things again and a, a bale of straw. You are the one that chases all the way to the end when I'm feeding you, aren't you? Yep. Yeah. I'm a bit glad I got all my duties done this morning now. My duties. Got all the jobs done that needed doing. I can see a lot of rain. I can see outdoor cattle mooching their way towards the indoors, I believe. Let's go out in the rain and find out. And the wind, but you probably can't hear that as much as you used to. There is an outdoor cow, two, three, over there. And they are taking a very slow meander back towards their shed. Not a lot else happening. Bye bye pigeons. It is five to midday. And for a lot of the animals here, it's time for a kip, I think. New straw, new bed. Happy. Strain to get your head in underneath that bar rather than go above it. Clever. Still playing with the bed in. 
still eating the fresh bale. You know that shed I put the water tank in yesterday? Oh. Hello. We got three new little calves. These are, uh, wow, well, very small, aren't you? Very curious, but a good, good looking bunch. I hope you like it here with everybody else. Yeah, you can hear them, can't you? <laughs> Running around next door. And there's the end of another day. Time to go home, have something to eat, have a shower, and start editing. And you can kind of tell what time of day it is because the interior light of your Land Rover has just gone off. Catch you all tomorrow. Cheers.